In a pivotal stride toward shaping the future of space exploration, the White House has issued a directive that underscores the necessity of standardized timekeeping beyond the confines of Earth. NASA has been tasked with a monumental responsibility to devise a unified time standard applicable to the Moon and other celestial bodies. This directive emerges against the backdrop of escalating competition among governments and private enterprises vying for supremacy in the vast expanse of space. The concept of time in space is not a straightforward extension of earthly timekeeping. Rather, it is a complex interplay of gravitational forces and relativistic effects that can distort the passage of time. As missions to distant celestial bodies become increasingly commonplace, the need for standardized celestial time standards becomes ever more apparent. Steve Welby, the Deputy Director for National Security at the OSDP, elucidated the criticality of establishing such standards, emphasizing their pivotal role in ensuring safety and accuracy amidst the challenges of space exploration. At the heart of this directive lies the notion of Coordinated Lunar Time (LTC) a proposed time standard aimed at synchronizing with Coordinated Universal Time UTC, the globally recognized timekeeping standard on Earth. LTC represents a concerted effort to streamline navigation and operational protocols for space missions, particularly in the cislunar space, the realm between Earth and the Moon where numerous endeavors are set to unfold in the near future. How will the Moon standard time be different from Earth standard time? One of the primary distinctions between Earth standard time UGC, and the proposed coordinated lunar time LTC, lies in their fundamental orientation. While UDC is grounded in Earth-centric timekeeping, LTC would pivot towards a lunar-centric approach. This shift is necessitated by the unique conditions prevailing on the Moon, including its lower gravity and distinct motion relative to Earth. The gravitational variance and orbital dynamics of the Moon contribute to a fascinating phenomenon, time dilation. In practical terms, this translates to time passing approximately 56 microseconds faster each Earth day on the lunar surface compared to Earth. Consequently, the conventional method of synchronizing lunar clocks with those on Earth becomes untenable. To address this challenge, a dedicated set of lunar clocks would need to be developed to maintain accurate timekeeping on the Moon. These specialized timepieces would operate according to a distinct Moon time calibrated to account for the lunar environment's unique temporal characteristics. Moreover, LTC serves as more than just a temporal curiosity. It assumes paramount importance in the realm of space exploration. Lunar spacecraft and satellites, tasked with missions demanding unparalleled precision, rely on LTC as a benchmark for timekeeping. By adhering to LTC, these spacecraft ensure synchronized operations secure data transfers, and seamless communications between Earth, lunar satellites, base seas, and astronauts. The White House's directive in Nate's collaboration between NASA and several key government departments, including Commerce, Defense, State, and Transportation. Together, these entities are tasked with formulating a comprehensive time standard strategy that encompasses crucial aspects such as traceability to UDC, precision navigation support, resilience to communication disruptions, and adaptability to environments extending beyond cislunar space. While the specifics of implementing lunar time standards are yet to be fully elucidated, the OSTP has suggested drawing inspiration from established terrestrial timekeeping practices. One such proposal involves the deployment of an ensemble of atomic clocks on the lunar surface akin to the ensemble of clocks regulating terrestrial time on Earth. By leveraging existing technologies and frameworks, NASA aims to lay the groundwork for a robust and reliable lunar timekeeping system. This directive coincides with the ambitious goals set forth by the United States to return to the Moon by 2026, marking a significant milestone in humanity's exploration of lunar terrain since the historic Apollo 17 mission in 1972. The resurgence of lunar exploration heralds a new era of scientific discovery and technological innovation, 
underpinned by the establishment of LTC as a cornerstone of operational efficiency and safety in space missions. As we venture further into the cosmos, the establishment of a unified time standard for celestial bodies stands as a testament to human ingenuity and collaborative endeavor. Through concerted efforts between government agencies, private enterprises, and international partners, initiatives like LTC pave the way for enhanced safety, precision, and efficiency in navigating the uncharted realms of space. Establishing a common time standard for space is a big step in our cosmic exploration. Let's keep curious and watch for more updates on our journey through the stars. If you found it informative and subscribe to Mars 666 for more fascinating insights into space exploration and beyond. Stay tuned for further updates and breakthroughs as we continue to push the boundaries of space exploration. Thank you for joining us on this extraordinary voyage.